Hey there, 788ers, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a special video to show off my new Joe room and studio. A couple weeks ago, my oldest daughter, Victoria, moved to Des Moines, Iowa for university, and we miss Victoria. Victoria, if you're watching, we miss you and we hope to visit soon. Uh, since she moved, it freed up an extra room in the house. As you may know, or you may not know, I previously had my G.I. Joe collection in our living room. And we have a large living room, so there was enough room for all of it. But it was kind of out there and made it a little difficult to have company and entertain. Um, and I also had to have access to things uh, when I did reviews. So even though I'd try to pack things away and make it compact, I'd have to pull it all out again because I would need to get things uh, to include in videos and reviews. So it really just wasn't a practical setup. In addition to that, I was using our dining room as my studio to record videos, and that had its own set of problems. I had the green screen set up and I would use the dining room table to shoot videos, but there was so much set up with the green screen and the lights and everything that it was impractical for me to tear it all down after each video and then set it up again when I needed to record. So it was all just out all the time, which means we didn't have a dining room table. I was using it. We didn't really have a dining room. It was all being used for my stuff. So that also wasn't very practical. So I really needed a space for my Joe stuff and a space to record videos. And finally, I have that. So this is my studio. My collection is here. Uh, my you know equipment is here. Everything I use to shoot videos. It's all in one room now. I wanted to show you earlier, but of course Timmer had magically stolen half of my collection. So I had to wait till everything was returned to show you my new studio. So I'm going to take you on a tour. It's just this room, but I'm going to show you my new studio, show you my setup, and just show you where my collection is right now. Now keep in mind, uh, I had to move this stuff into the room pretty quickly, so uh, not everything is exactly where it will be, you know, permanently. It, some things are sort of temporarily put places because I needed to have a space for them, but there's quite a bit of rearranging I will do in this room. Now, the larger pieces like the tables and the case, bookcases and shelves and stuff, those will probably stay where they are because before I started moving things in, I was measuring everything to find out where things would fit, and this is pretty much the only configuration where I can have the flag and the green screen and the bookcases and my, my recording table and all that. Uh, it's pretty much the only configuration for that, but, uh, but as far as like where the pieces in the collection are, those will be moved around a bit uh, as I uh, rearrange uh, and as I find more spaces for them. So keep that in mind. It's not This is not the final version, uh, but this is a pretty good start. So let's take a tour of the HCC 788 Joe Room and Studio. Let's start with the door, and this door may not seem like much, but this door is a big benefit of having this room. As I was moving my stuff, I was a bit dismayed at how much of it the cats had gotten to and um, chewed on or broken or in some other way messed up. And um, it was quite um, unsettling for me. I do try to protect my toys, but it's really hard to keep cats out of things. Uh, but this door, uh, will remain closed most of the time. Uh, basically, unless I'm entering or leaving, this door will be closed. Cats will have no access to this room ever. Uh, and no more, not never again, will they uh, mess up any of my Joe stuff. My stuff will be protected from the cats. It's a total cat ban. So uh, just inside the door, I have some things. There's my extra uh, black backer boards uh, that I use for the reviews. Uh, those are some older ones, but they will work as spares as I need them. Uh, and there's my Super Trooper shield and Super Trooper armor back there in case I ever need those again. And my backpack for my laptop. Uh, and here we finally get to some of the collection. Uh, so this is the first bookcase and uh, that 92 headquarters folds up amazingly compactly and it's really convenient. I really like that headquarters. Um, 
It, uh, it doesn't actually take up a lot of space for ch such a big playset, which is awesome. I got my Dragonfly up there with the uh, helipad from the 83 headquarters. Uh, and then I've got um, some loose figures here, and I just kind of had to condense the loose figures onto one uh, shelf. Uh, that's not normally how I would want them displayed. They're uh, really tightly packed in there, but uh, I just I had to create some room. Um, even though this is now my own space, um, I had to uh, fit a lot of stuff in less space. I had to fit my collection in less space. Um, I had more space before it was moved in here. So some things just had to be condensed a little bit so we have a lot of figures on one shelf. And then moving on down, we've got some Cobra stuff, uh, the Hydrofoil and the AGP um, and the Stun back there and a few Cobra guys. Uh, we've got some Joe stuff here and Slaughter's Marauders and Sergeant Slaughter. Um, there isn't exactly an organization to it yet. Uh, it's just basically this is the space that I could find to put things. Uh, I got some Cobra stuff down there. Uh, the, some Hiss tanks, uh, Water Moccasin, Thunder Machine, Thunder Machine, and so on. And then down at the bottom, we got the Mauler uh, and the Whale. And I feel safe keeping those down there for now because the cats can't get to them. So um, I, I, it was always a, a struggle, a challenge to place things high enough that the cats couldn't reach them. Uh, well, now I don't have to worry about that. They're safe down there on the bottom shelf, accessible whenever I need them. I don't have to climb on anything to get them. Um, and also they will be safe. Moving on up uh, to the next bookcase on the same wall. Uh, we've got some space stuff. There is the Defiant, still need to get some parts to it. The extra parts to the Defiant are in a box in the closet. I'll show that to you. Uh, we've got, you know, the Stiletto and the Starfighter. We've got the Cobra Asp, Asp and there's the Pogo. Um, and some of this stuff is covered up. I didn't, let, me move my, let me move my lighting stand. Uh, there we go. Move the lighting stand so you can see this a little better. I got some of my books there for research. Um, and uh, oh, the old toolbox that um, the last of my G.I. Joe collection was in is back there. I've got some of the Find Your Fate books. Again, the stuff, this is temporary. Uh, like, I want better access to the Find Your Fate books. I don't want to leave them back there. But I just haven't found a space for them yet. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. Um, so, uh, over here we have lots of vamps, um, and the Awe Striker and the Vamp Hal 2-pack there. Uh, I want to display that better, definitely, but again, I gotta find the space for it. Um, so, moving on down, we've got a 3D Joe's poster of the file cards, so that's cool. We've got a G.I. Joe lunchbox, and we've got the... 1983 Headquarters Command Center with some figures around it. Uh, these are just, you know, random figures that I didn't have another space for yet. I've got the Wolverine on top of the APC. Um, again, we're making space where we can find it. Um, it works for now. Um, and then moving on down, we've got some more figures and some more lunch boxes there. Over here we have the Tiger Rat mating with the Cobra Rattler. And uh, you may not have known this, but this is how uh, the Cobra Claws come about. The two Rattlers mate. Uh, when two Rattlers love each other very much, uh, they do a special hug. And then about nine months later, they have a Cobra Claw. And then if you feed that Cobra Claw and take care of that Cobra Claw, someday it will grow up to be a Cobra Rattler. We got some more vehicles down here. Um, and again, they're just kind of stacked in there for now. They will not stay that way. Uh, but I just had to find a space for them uh, where I could. Uh, but uh, yeah, so there is a space for them. Hey, so, you know, at least they have a home right now, but these need to be displayed better. And so uh, that's gonna be a work in progress. So that's that wall. And there's a lamp in the corner for some extra light. Uh, you can see over here on the next wall is the green screen and the lighting. I'm hoping the camera will focus a little better. Uh, yeah, the green screen and the lighting are setting, set up on this wall. Uh, one issue that I have in this room is the lighting. Uh, this lamp up here uh, does not give out enough light, really. Um, I had a lot more ambient light to work with in my old setup, 
that just doesn't exist in this room. So um, this, I've got to play around with the lighting setup. This is not, um, again, this is kind of temporary. Uh, the lights will be different. Uh, I have filmed a little bit in here already um, and it didn't all turn out quite the way I wanted it to. So there's definitely some, uh, some lighting work that I have to do. I may have to get some extra lights in order to make this work. But that is a new challenge that this studio um, has, uh, has imposed, is the lighting. I just don't have as much light in here. So uh, we will see how that works out in the future. I have some ideas, but uh, yeah, work in progress. Swinging around to the other side so you can see the next wall. Uh, there's the green screen from that angle. And over here, I have the USS flag with some stuff stacked on top of it. Uh, but let's go over here so you can see what we got. Um, this is uh, my display for a lot of the 82 figures and some of the rare figures. And this, I had this on the wall in the living room. Uh, and it's, I think it's a fine display, but the issue that I had with it is uh, it was way up high and it was on the other side of the flag, which, I mean, it still is, the flag's right there, but it's much lower and everything is, is within reach. I can actually reach everything. So it will be easier for me to pull the 82 figures or, you know, say the, the Night Force figures, pull them off the shelf when I need them and put them back. So uh, that is much more convenient, everything within reach. And then down here, we have the USS flag uh, and some aircraft on and around it. Um, I was actually really happy to have space for the Cobra Night Raven because previously I had the Night Raven just on a table kind of awkwardly with the Defiant, but actually uh, can fit it on the flag now. And so some helicopters and uh, some additional figures kind of just standing along there uh, until I have, you know, a better spot for them. Uh, not a great display, but again, I just had to find space for everything for now. Uh, some of my, some of the internal parts of the flag are kind of just resting in there right now, but uh, I will fix all that later. Uh, so, oh, and, oh, here's some junk. Um, this is another thing I need to work on. Um, this is just like stuff that I need for Reviews. Oh, that's a drawing of Kermit the Frog from my daughter um, and some drawing paper. So another thing that I don't have that I need to get is uh, probably another roll away cabinet um, with some drawers that I can put stuff in, the stuff that I use to do reviews. Stuff like this, like uh, tape and markers and uh, my pencil box with all my tools and like like over here, my big bag of figure stands and my battery operated rotating table. All these things that I use in reviews, but I don't have a space for them yet. So for the time being, some of it's just sitting on the deck of the flag. There's the transportable tactical battle platform. Don't look too closely. It's very dusty and like one of the missiles fell off. I got to put it back on. Uh, it's uh, yeah, that one's a little rough right now. I'll, I'll fix it later. I'll, I'll clean it up later, but at least it has a home for right now. Um, bringing you around here, actually before you do that, uh, I got some blackout curtains because there's a window there and since after measuring the room i decided this really is the only space that will fit the flag i did not want to have the flag next to a window because i didn't want uh, the sun to discolor the plastic of anything that's sitting here so i had to put up some curtains uh, to keep the sun out and keep the sun off of the plastic uh, but coming around here uh, we've got some small vehicles, and I don't know if I can show you, but a lot of small vehicles are in this space under the flag, in the back half of it. There's a lot of space back there. If you have a flag, um, this is something to think about. There's a lot of storage space underneath it. Uh, so if you have small vehicles and you don't know where to put them, that space right under there fits a lot of them. So uh, yeah, but not everything fits there. So uh, we have a few things out and about, but that's, uh, that's the USS flag. It has a home. 
Um, it fits in the room and I'm really happy to have it here. Then under the flag, we have the Terradrome and temporarily on top of that, I have the box for the Cobra Battle game. Got to find a better place for that. Uh, and that box right there is the, uh, the mobile command center. For some reason, I was blanking on the name. The MCC, the mobile command center, is there. I did uh, take it apart enough to put it back in the box. And then um, all of my drawers for my loose figures, uh, 87 through 94, um, that's uh, 88, and so on. So yeah, so those are my loose figures. Um, and that setup has actually been pretty convenient so far. I may pretty much keep it that way. Uh, the uh, table for the flag, I put on these glide pads. So if I need to get behind it for any reason, uh, the table actually glides really easily across the carpet. So um, that is uh, that wall. There's a space where I'll probably put a poster. And that brings us around here. And that's the closet door. Okay, here's the closet and there is a lot in here. Okay, and some of it's fine. Um, I wanted to have my box stuff like way up on a shelf, uh, very safe, uh, but also accessible. I can get up there, I can see where everything is, um, and I can pull it down as needed. Uh, so that'll probably pretty much stay the same um, because I can get to things when I need them for reviews. So uh, that's not bad. Um, we've got the Rolling Thunder, not on display at the moment, unfortunately, but uh, it has a home at least for the time being. Uh, but then we have all these totes and yeah, they're, they're stacked all the way up and they're too deep in there. They're, they go all the way to the back wall. Um, and then I've got an extra one there on the floor. They're the defiant parts. Um, that's where they're living right now. And then kind of a few other things there in the corner. Um, I've got my review shirts up here. This is, this is actually another big deal um, in that I can keep the shirts that I use, uh, that I wear for reviews in, you know, in one spot because other people in my house uh, wear these and sometimes I have a hard time finding them. Well, no more. They will be, uh, they will be in the closet um, so I can always find my review shirt when I want it. Now, one thing that's really horrible about this closet is these totes. These totes are probably the biggest problem with this setup. Uh, nothing is where it should be. Um, there are some things that you might be able to see in there, things that have been sent to me, things that have been donated to the channel. Uh, they can't stay there. That, this is not the right place for them. But again, I had to move things very quickly, so I had to kind of slam things together and toss them in, you know, in the closet. But um, I am taking a week off after, um, after Cobra Convergence, so one of my projects for that week is to go through all of these uh, to f pull out things that should not be stored away, things that need to be on display, um, move things around because there are some things that I will need for reviews and they're way in the back. And then other things that I don't necessarily need for reviews are way up in the front. So uh, that's obviously not going to work. So this is a project. This is actually a big project that I need to work on. Um, it's like vital that I work on it because this is not a workable situation right here. But at the very least, you know, it fits. Uh, it all fits back there. And so at least I do have a space for it. But uh, yeah, it's not gonna stay this way. It cannot stay this way. So over the next week, I'm gonna be going through all of these. Um, condensing them, labeling them, uh, pulling things out that should not be there, uh, and maybe putting a few things in there uh, that are, you know, out here uh, for the time being, but they would be pretty safe, you know, being packed away uh, in a tote like that. So uh, that is the closet and a big future project. Okay, moving on from the closet, we have my review space, and there is my black backer board with my desk lamps for light. Um, I have still set up the uh, figures for the patron's choice poll. 
Um, as I'm recording this, I don't know which one is going to win yet. The poll is still going. So I just have these guys out. Um, so whichever one wins, I can start the review and the other two will be put away where they belong. Uh, and then, you know, there's some extra stuff here. Uh, the card backs and file cards, uh, my clipboard, my remote for my camera, and my, uh, my tripod. Kind of a bundle of wires there. Need to reorganize that. Uh, another thing that can't stay where it is is I have my comic books uh, under the table, and that just ain't working. I, I don't have an access to them when I need them, so they really can't stay there. I have a different idea for them, but I have to move some other things around first. So the comic books will not stay there. I need more access to them. So one nice thing about this setup is like there's where I can do my reviews and you know there's my backless chair that I sit in but after I do the uh, video I can, after I shoot the video I can just swivel chair right over here to my laptop and uh, start editing so I'll be editing like right next door to where I'm shooting the reviews uh, this is gonna be a big deal because if while editing I find something that I need to reshoot, I can just go right over there and reshoot it. Uh, in the past, that has been a challenge. If I find an error in a video as I'm editing, sometimes it is difficult or even impossible to set things up again and reshoot it. Well, that should not be a problem now. Uh, that's the laptop things will be edited on and right there is where the video is shot. Uh, there are my file cards and my card backs. Uh, there's another 3D Joe's poster. There's my Joe Fest card which is uh, temporarily there until I get a frame for it. I definitely want to frame that but when it's unfolded it's actually quite large so I need to get a big frame for it so that is my workstation where I will be recording my reviews that's it that's the tour of my new studio it's just one room so it's a short tour but um, this is a big leap forward for for me and for the channel now don't be alarmed if some things looked a little disorganized and some things were kind of stacked on top of each other uh, and some like if you if you donated something to the channel and it's living in a tote right now again it's, it's not gonna stay that way I've got a lot of work still to do on this uh, there are things that need to be moved around uh, but at at the very least it has a home it has a space right now whereas before everything was just kind of in borrowed space so um, for me this is a big deal I've never had a space like this for my collection and a studio like a an actual studio setup for recording videos I've needed a space like this for years and I've never had it uh, so this I'm hoping will make life a lot easier for me. It will uh, help me uh, get uh, more things done, uh, make, make it easier to produce things for you to watch. Uh, and I'm also hoping that since I'm able to close that door and close out all the outside noise and the, the pets and all of the distractions, that I will be able to focus on projects and get them done faster so that I can walk out that door and spend more time with my family. That's my hope. But um, uh, that's it. Uh, this is, for me, revolutionary. This should uh, revolutionize the way that I produce videos. Uh, the quality I'm hoping is at least as good or better than what we had before, uh, but it's going to streamline the process for me. It's going to enable me to do more, and I hope in the long run enables me to do better. Um, so that's it. Um, Victoria again uh, in Des Moines. Uh, we miss you, and we hope to see you again soon. Uh, but at least for the time being, uh, this is the setup of... Uh, the room and um, and I'm pretty thrilled about it so uh, thanks everyone for watching um, I will uh, very soon start shooting the first full review from this studio 
and you'll have to tell me how you like it. I hope, I hope you like it. So I'll see you all again soon, and remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.